I know you're searching for a capture card. Oh, that's coming right up. Hey everyone, my name is Rick Cordero. Welcome to Run Playback, where we help you with video and tech tips to lead a more efficient and affordable lifestyle. Let's be creative and save money at the same time. Today, I'm gonna to show you the Enogeni 4K HDMI video capture card, which allows you to capture uncompressed video and audio to your camera's HDMI output. This card is compatible with both PC and Mac for recording, editing, video conferencing, and streaming applications. I'll discuss the features and let you know whether the Enogeni is worth the price. Now. Ever since I began working from home, I wanted a professional capture card that would provide high quality video conferencing on WebEx and Zoom. But I also wanted a card that would capture video from my Canon C200 directly into a PC or Mac. So here's what I like. It's simple to use you just plug and play. Although it comes with the USB 3.0 cable, I ended up buying a separate USB-C cable since I'm constantly swapping between my desktop PC and my Mac laptop. The capture card I used before this one was the Blackmagic Intensity Extreme. Now that one was bulky, it overheated frequently and was loud because of its internal fan, but this was a few years ago and capture card tech has come a long way since then. Now the Enogeni gets warm, but it doesn't really overheat. There is a small amount of latency that's typical for capture cards, but your mileage may vary depending on the speed of your computer and software. As far as looks, it's encased in silver brush metal with a sticker that's just slapped on top. It's about the length and width of a credit card Card, which is a good size for laying on your desk. Now it's built strong, but I'd be hesitant to drop it on the floor. For video conferencing, it is compatible with apps like Zoom, WebEx, Skype, Hangouts, and FaceTime. For recording, it works with a variety of applications, but OBS and QuickTime is what I prefer. It can capture standard video resolutions up to 4K and frame rates from 23.98 up to 60p. However, 4K resolutions are limited to 30 frames per second. It does receive audio through the HDMI cable so I'd suggest connecting a professional mic directly to your camera to avoid any sync issues. I've tested the Enogeni with the Canon C200, the Fuji X-T3, and the Blackmagic Ursa Mini G2, and they all perform flawlessly. So that's all good, but what are the cons? Well, the only big issue, and it is a major one, is probably the price. Now, at $395, the Enogeni is a very expensive card. Sure, you can browse Amazon and eBay and find some generic no-name brands that are targeted to gaming, but is it really worth the risk? I think I would justify the cost by realizing that we're living in a completely different way of life right now, and that includes how we work. Everyone is configuring their remote communications and video plays a major role in that. I like video conferencing with a proper camera instead of a webcam. I want to look presentable with the right lighting and environment. Things are going to be remote for a very long time and the appearance and quality of our video will be just as important as showing up to a meeting well-dressed and ready to go. So is it worth the price? Well, for my role as a video producer at a tech company, yes, absolutely, it's worth it. So if you're looking for a solid capture device that is compatible with your camera on a variety of platforms, then the Enogeni is a solid recommend. If you want to dive into more video and tech tips, click the links on the side and remember to like and subscribe so I can keep this channel running. I'll see you guys in the next video.